Back to school season is fast approaching, and across the nation, schools are scrambling to find teachers before classes resume. Lydia Hugh has more on the teacher shortage that is stressing school administrators. As the school year is fast approaching, there's growing concern about who will teach our nation's children, as some states need hundreds or thousands of educators. Nevada, for example, has nearly 3,000 open educator positions. That's according to the Arizona State Teachers Association. Arizona had nearly 2,000 openings earlier this year, and Florida has 8,000 teacher vacancies, according to the Florida Education Association. Now, states are exploring new tactics to recruit teachers. Some rural districts in Texas are switching to four-day school weeks. Florida passed a law allowing veterans to teach without certification, and one superintendent in Minnesota filled in by teaching in the classroom to help out. But we still have really, really great needs, and it's important, uh, given supply and demand, our unemployment rate here in Minnesota is now at 1.8 percent, and so it's sometimes hard for us to compete with private industry. But as recruitment efforts are prioritized, the president of the American Federation of Teachers, Randy Weingarten, is on the attack. This year was the worst I've ever seen. The politics and politicians have really polluted um, what goes on with teachers right now. But if politics are part of the problem, some are pointing the finger back at Randy Weingarten and the union. Really, Randy Weingarten and uh, the unions played a role in the politicized responses to the pandemic. You, you see these differences between blue and red districts and how long they were in person and how quickly they returned from masking and so forth. Uh, there were lots of roles there and the union played a marked one. The shortage of educators is expected to grow in years to come. New York State, for example, predicts it will need 180,000 teachers over the next decade and there's worry that it will fall short. In a move to boost qualified applicants, the state recently slashed the minimum number of hours of in-class teaching required for certification, going from 100 to 50 hours. Reporting from New York City, Lydia Hu, Fox Business.